This program contains material that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Bad drivers are everywhere. When these drivers hit the road, you'd better steer clear. Bad drivers come in all shapes and sizes. Some are mad, some are bad, and some are completely insane. And no matter where they are, what they're driving, or how they try to spin it, they somehow find a way to break every rule on the road. You can run, but you can't hide. Fasten your seatbelts and hold on tight, because these drivers all have one thing in common. They're out of control. Buckle up, it's going to be a bumpy ride. It's a chilly April morning at a West Virginia gas station. But things are about to heat up. This speeding pickup truck takes out a gas pump. Then slams into the convenience store. A customer at the pump drops his gas hose and runs for cover. The flames quickly escalate, but the fire stays contained to the pump. Inside the store, the manager and three vendors scatter just in time. But the luckiest person of the day has to be the cashier. The impact sends a post beam flying past her head. The cause behind this bad driving? The driver fell asleep at the wheel after working the night shift. It's a typical night for this four-year-old girl and her parents. Incredibly, the little girl is completely unharmed. She was saved by metal safety poles that stopped the car with only inches to spare. This near tragedy occurs when a distracted driver puts her car in reverse by mistake. The girl sees her coming and tries to get away. If not for those poles, this story would have a far different ending. A truck clips a small car as they both make their morning commutes. The stuck driver flashes her brake lights, but the semi going 60 miles per hour has no idea she's there. The truck eventually pulls over and the frightened passenger is free unharmed. It's a traffic jam she won't soon forget. Not paying attention can be a hazard on the road. And this next driver is about to find out why. Unaware that his truck is in the raised position, he slams into a footbridge. Despite one man's 30-foot fall, he escapes without serious injury. The driver claims the truck rose without his knowledge. Chances are good he'll pay better attention next time he's behind the wheel. What swept through this city's downtown to cause such destruction? An out-of-control bus that's clearly running ahead of schedule. When its brakes fail, 12 tons of steel come speeding down a hill, knocking everything out of its path. The bus rear-ends a sedan and pushes it like a battering ram into more vehicles. Further down the road, a businessman dashes across the street. The bus whizzes by and misses him by inches. The runaway bus finally comes to a stop when it crashes into the steps of an office building. A car is still attached, but its back end is destroyed. As the locals try to make sense of what happened, one thing's for certain. This man is happy. 
He missed the bus. When it comes to wrong place, wrong time, this guy is an expert. A truck tries to beat an oncoming train and loses. The impact throws the truck onto a worker. As his helmet goes flying, the man is knocked out cold. Unbelievably, this very lucky guy suffers only minor injuries. No thanks to this bad driver. When a two-ton truck meets up with a river, you might think you know how things are going to end. But this is one driver who refuses to be all washed up. He starts to cross. But his heavy load begins to weigh things down. Incredibly, the truck continues to make tracks. But a little further in, the driver experiences an unscheduled stop. If he doesn't recover soon, he'll be stuck for good. The truck floats motionless. The current begins to carry it away. Then suddenly, it slides back into gear and does some rolling on the river. It takes another dive, but that doesn't stop this determined driver. The truck finally emerges on the other side, showing no signs of slowing down. This is a driver who's in it for the long haul. This truck racing down the freeway was stolen just minutes ago. The owner watched it happen. Instead of standing around, he climbed into the truck bed and called 911 on his cell phone. It's going to be a light brown company truck, and he is in the bed of the truck. Now he's a part of the high-speed chase. I just saw a hand truck okay. with the trailer. Police track the vehicle by air. They will affirm we've got the guy in the back of the truck still. Then, patrol cars arrive on the scene. Their plan is to stop the suspect by using spike strips. Number five lane still. A lot of room in front of this truck uh, for spikes. But the driver exits the freeway before they can execute their operation. The line of cars makes its way through the surface streets. Officials are worried about the safety of the truck's stowaway. For now, all the owner can do is hold on tight. Let's try to take him down at the stop right now. Police attempt to block the truck. Units attempt to get in front, but he did not stop. He swerved around him. The suspect is trying to make it to an on-ramp. Officers know that their best chance of ending this chase is to stop him before he can return to the freeway. The police make their move. Block him, man. We're going to block him. They are going to try and block him. The truck finally stops, and the owner jumps to safety. Police rush the suspect before he can take off again. The owner gets his truck back, and the thwarted car thief? Next time he gets the bright idea to steal a truck, he'd better check for passengers first. It's a snowy day in Cleveland, Ohio. A patrolman stops to help a stranded teenager when another car flies out of nowhere. The officer pushes the driver out of the way and takes the brunt of the crash himself. He falls 27 feet down an embankment but survives. Due to his heroic act, no one else is hurt.
winter storm in Portland, Oregon, causes drivers on this icy hill to spin out of control. One SUV careens into everything in its path. You could hear it accelerate and eventually ran into the telephone pole and turned away from the telephone pole and started heading straight for a cement wall. If you're in an SUV, I know you think you can go down a hill, but you can't. Your brakes are the same as everyone else's. You can hear the cars get hit, and you can see all the cars start to move out of the way like dominoes. This red car slides into a snowdrift, but his ride is far from over. But I knew it was coming after I saw that car parked in the middle of the street. One wrong turn in this station wagon. Heads up! Becomes destruction on ice. Bouncing off everything in its way. Just one after another, coming down, hitting the brakes, sliding, and crashing into each other. It's, it's pretty surreal. A fire truck shows up to close off the street. Just in time for a line of cars to crash right into it. My suggestion would be stay home, let the weather clear out, let the roads dry, and then go out and finish your business. Out the door. Moments later... The clerk flees the demolished store. But the driver stays behind the wheel of his smashed SUV. Police arrive within minutes. Without warning, the suspect bolts from his vehicle. Outside, his erratic behavior forces police to tase him. This shocking case of road rage. Lands the driver straight in jail. This story could only happen in New York City. A pedicab operator loses his cool when the taxi cab behind him won't stop honking. How does he handle his boiling road rage? By throwing a cup of hot coffee at the taxi. But things really heat up in the middle of the intersection. The cab driver prepares for round two, but the pedicab operator isn't just talking trash. He's throwing it. Despite the taxi driver trying to block his escape, the pedicab operator pedals away. By the time the police arrive, they find one frustrated taxi driver, one slightly damaged cab, and one more crazy story about life in the Big Apple. In Texas, an off-roader faces off with a boulder the size of his home state. All right, Chris, let's... Yeah, it's trying. Back up, get through. Friends videotape the action and offer up advice. And try to bump the front. 
Pastor side tire up the rock. A bump. A bump, not white smoke. I'm just bump it where it'll go up. Almost. The driver tries, but he can't nail the move. About right there. Just got to get in it. But he refuses to give up. Dang, almost. It almost bounced up. <laughs> that was a bumper hit. Yeah, you're trying to get up this big rock right here with your passenger tire. Right. I know. When the driver finally gets the bounce he needs. As the front left tire bites into the rock, the force sends the off-roader's front end flying. But it's the back right tire that pushes the rear of the vehicle forward, causing it to flip. Luckily, the roll cage does what it's there for, and the driver walks away unharmed. But on this day, it's rock one, driver zero. When a traffic cop stops a mom with kids in her car for speeding in a school zone, she gets an education in how to lose your cool. Okay, I introduced the issue of citation for the speeding violation. I could kill you! I could kill you, and I've never used that word in my life. You're the first one to get the pleasure of hearing it from me. I'm a good citizen, and you're harassing me. 39 miles an hour, and there's crime here. Get to work and do something worthwhile. Yeah. And I never talk like this to anyone, do I, Marie? I do not. I have never been so angry in my life. The officer remains calm which only seems to fuel the mad mama's road rage. I live right down the street, and I have done nothing wrong in this city. You don't have to wave your hands in my face. Oh, and what are you going to do about it? Shoot me? No, ma'am, I will not. The ranting attracts a bystander. And one time, you could say, okay, just understand, we've got to do our job going your way, and I will respect that. But instead, you got in a fight with me. Ma'am. You got out of your car and started waving your hand at me no, and raising your voice at me. No, yes, you said, don't deny it. Don't deny it. I am not a hostile person, but you brought out that devil in me. And this possessed parent is about to cross the line. You'd better look out because that's how mad I am. Man, you need to watch your language. Well, right? you know what? I'll tell you what. You have picked me off. Well, I understand that, but I'm not going to let you stand here and threaten me. Well, you know what? You're real close to doing the deal. Put me in the Jail, then. Put me in a jail. Man, please calm down. No, I am so mad at you. You know why? Because I don't have the money for this. Instead of arresting the mom, the officer just gives her a ticket. Hey, ma'am, I tell you what. I'm gonna, I want to finish this up because I want you to stop reacting the way you are in front of the children. Oh, you know what? I'm not used to it because I don't get pulled over. You're not going to be quiet long enough for well, you to say that. you this. know what? I ain't a guy to go. Have a nice day. This is one mother who needs to learn how to keep her cool. I am not a hostile person, but you brought out that devil in me. When a driver stops his car on a crowded country road, he brings traffic to a standstill. So, a woman takes matters into her own hands. She arms herself with a crutch and charges the car. She attempts to beat some sense into the driver. The woman retrieves her weapon as another driver steps in. Eventually, the other vehicles start driving again. Proving a crutch is one way to beat heavy traffic. In Moore, Oklahoma, an officer's dash cam rolls as police cuff a burglary suspect and put him in the back of a squad car. Moments later, the suspect peers out from the back seat. When the officer checks on his prisoner, he's shocked to learn the suspect has somehow slipped the cuffs from behind his back. Officers recuff him. You ain't very bright, buddy. You are not very bright, man. Unbelievably, he does the same trick again. 
And this time, when no one is looking. The dash cam from the stolen cop car helps capture the action. The chase everyone thought was over is back on again. Still cuffed, the suspect drives the police cruiser and uses a cell phone to call his girlfriend. A minute later, the suspect loses control and brings his own police chase to a crashing end. This is one robber who didn't know when to call it quits. Kansas City, Kansas. A felon and his passenger take a stolen vehicle on a ride that knows no boundaries. There he is, right here. Reporters comment from their news helicopter. Look at this, look at this. Very, very dangerous situation. Slowed by congested streets, the suspect takes to the sidewalk. Even a schoolyard isn't off limits. They've already uh, gone past uh, some kids. Oh, he just got stuck, he just got stuck. The squad cars can't follow him off-road, but a police helicopter keeps him in sight. Uh, right now, the police are not behind them. They have broken off the uh, uh, pursuit, um, but they are keeping a safe distance. Now he's stuck in the mud, for sure. But he isn't stuck for long, and soon trades mud for asphalt. He is an absolute lunatic and doing everything he can to get away. Moments later, he's back in the dirt plowing through fences like they're Tinker Toys. Bashing through one fence almost ends more than just the chase. A wooden post pierces the windshield and nearly impales the driver, but he keeps on going. Oh, they're stuck. You can tell that this guy is very serious about trying to get away. The driver races on, taking a reckless side trip through several backyards. My goodness. Now, this is just, just insane. Absolutely insane. The next chapter of this nonstop chase takes place on the interstate. There's a block right here, guys. We'll see what happens. The police have set up a blockade here. We'll see if he gets through there. There's a stop stick right there. I don't know if he get around it or not. Really no rhyme or reason of what he's doing, guys. Uh, he's just desperately trying to get away. The suspect drives for miles in the wrong direction. Then he races through another residential area. It's amazing. It's absolutely he's turning back east. He's off road. There's a good chance. He's, he's bailing. He's bailing. Yeah, he's going to bail out here. This ain't going to work. The passenger is taken into custody, but the driver still isn't ready to give up and runs for cover. This is the driver. Yeah. And now he's hiding underneath this old beat up building. Police surround his hiding place. This is not going to work out good for him because there's police all over this block. Finally, with nowhere left to run, the suspect surrenders. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. We've, we've had some really crazy chases here lately. And the only new tracks he's making are straight to jail. This one certainly is one for the books. An escaped convict in a stolen car leaves a trail of destruction along an Ohio freeway. This high-speed chase begins 15 minutes earlier in a surprising way. Off-duty police sergeant Lisa Elliott is driving in her personal truck, listening to a police radio. I heard a, a bulletin come across that they were looking for a subject that had escaped from CCC, which is a community corrections prison. Lisa suddenly finds herself directly behind the suspect. My first thought was absolutely, wow, you don't expect him to merge onto the highway with somebody that's, that is the, currently the most wanted person in your county. Lisa calls for backup and tails the suspect for seven miles. 
I will stay with it. He, I'm in my personal vehicle. He doesn't know I'm a cop. Police arrive in squad cars and direct the man onto the shoulder. Okay, they're attempting to stop now. He's pulling over the semi, he's pulling over too. But the 20-year-old fugitive doesn't stick around. He's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. He's running. He's running. You're in pursuit. Lisa and the other officers go after him with speeds quickly reaching 100 miles per hour. When they started attaining higher speeds, they proceeded past me, and I was not able to, to keep up, nor was I willing to um, take that risk. Lisa pulls out of the chase while officers ahead deploy spike strips. Even on rapidly deflating tires, the hell-bent driver has no intention of stopping. The fugitive slams into a commuter. Driving recklessly, he rams another car. He veers across all the lanes, slamming into more vehicles. With his smashed hood blocking the windshield, the suspect finally pulls off the interstate and surrenders. In my 25 years, this was certainly a, a once-in-a-career event. I was just glad that I was there that particular day. San Diego, California. A news reporter and cameraman are driving to cover a story when they hear of a high-speed chase heading in their direction. I got the car pulled over and stopped. I jumped out, grabbed the camera, started rolling. And not just a little money. The passenger tosses handful after handful of 20 and $100 bills onto the busy freeway. Sorry, that money is all over the freeway, so watch the traffic. People saw the money and screeched on the brakes, pulling off to the side of the road, stopping in the middle of the highway to get their hands on a few $20 bills. It quickly got way out of control. Sorry, yeah, I got people all over the freeway here. Murray, Rachel, how to get the money. How much you get, man? I don't know. How much you got? I'm not sure. <laughs> Are you going to keep it? I don't know. Some people would say, finders keepers. And other people would say, well, I'll see what happens and then I'll turn it in. Other people covered their faces and hopped in their car, zoomed away. When police arrive, those looking for a free handout quickly hand over the cash. The suspects are eventually captured, both wanted in a drug sting gone bad. And what about all that money? Reports say they had $225,000 cash with them in that truck. At last check, police had only recovered 40000 so they sure left a heck of a money trail behind them. Gonna keep it? Yeah. This is one of the most amazing things I have ever shot. Friends are enjoying a meal at a neighborhood restaurant when they notice some drama going down in the parking lot. They watch as a man argues with the driver of a sedan. Things turn ugly when the man reaches into the car. The driver guns the engine and... The customers and wait staff scramble. One man is momentarily pinned to the wall but isn't seriously injured. Remarkably, the attacker hangs on to the car the entire time before he flees the scene. Police arrive, but not even a drawn weapon is enough to scare this driver. He doesn't give up. He backs out of the restaurant, dragging his bumper, and speeds off, only to be arrested moments later. This is a dinner where the customers got more than they paid for. A woman's trip to an automated car wash turns into a real-life soap opera. Welcome to our car wash. She struggles to put her money into the pay slot. Suddenly, her foot hits the gas pedal. Her vehicle flies through the car wash, jumps the curb, and plows into the bathroom of the building next door. The driver's bathroom break is so severe, it takes a tow truck to pull her car free. The woman is okay. But her car 
is all washed up. It's tough finding parking in the city, so it's no surprise this driver would try to squeeze into any spot she can find. After a feeble attempt to parallel park, she jumps the curb and takes over the sidewalk. With the engine still running, she crosses to the other side of the car and climbs into the passenger seat. Without warning. The car bolts forward and plows into the building. She wanted a good parking spot. She got one. In a drive through bank lane, a trailer hits the roof. The driver was actually taking the trailer to the bank to secure a loan for its purchase. It's safe to say, this loan is trashed. Not all bad drivers are on the open road. Some are on the job. This forklift driver makes one bad move and... Bumps into a shelf which sets off a chain reaction, and hundreds of boxes come tumbling down. Luckily, his co workers are able to dig through the rubble and pull him to safety. One wrong turn, and this guy's job security comes to a shattering end. An 18 wheeler speeds down the freeway hauling 200 tons of lemons. But as it crosses the overpass, the truck takes a sour turn. Thousands of lemons rain down on the street below. The spill barely misses a group of pedestrians. Despite boxes and debris hanging from the overpass, people rush in to grab handfuls of fallen fruit. This bad driver put an entire freeway in a tight squeeze. Winter storms hit Waldorf, Maryland, leaving cars snowbound. A group of buddies managed to free all their vehicles, except this one. Hey, weren't you the one that said that your car never gets stuck? Instead of doling out the cash for a real tow company, they decide to tow the friend's car themselves. Helping out with this scheme are pals Mike and Joe. Pretty sure it was Joe's idea because he was the one that had the truck. The back of my truck had a uh, tow hook on it. The back of his car had a tow hook on it also. I kept on yanking and yanking and trying to just yank it out. The friend's car doesn't budge, but these guys don't give up. When we started hearing the crunching noise, we thought that it was only the tow strap tightening up. Apparently everybody was screaming, stop, 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 but he had music going, so we didn't quite hear it. And then something happens that's music to no one's ears. <laughs> it was pretty, it was just, it was just so painful. I was looking in my side view mirror and I just saw the thing dragging behind my truck. The entire back frame is ripped from the car. Did you hook it to your bumper? It's not hooked to the bumper. Oh my, to the toe thing. What toe thing? The toe thing was on the bumper? Or did you rip the whole frame off? When I look about it now, it's just kind of like, I can't believe that happened. This is one job 
they should have left to the pros. Stop, stop, stop. A man is pulled over for speeding. The officer tries to write him a ticket, but the driver is having none of it. You don't have to do that. I do. You were doing 23 miles over the speed limit. No. You have a no. conviction on your record. No. You have a speeding? No, it isn't. You have a speeding conviction on your record. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's not perfect. No, sir. The policeman finally issues the citation. Okay, conversation's over. I'd like you to close the door and go ahead and proceed on your way. That's the safest way to proceed, okay? Conversation's okay. over. Okay. Okay, have a better day. Be careful pulling out. He returns to his squad car thinking this ordeal is over. The driver signals that he's going to pull into traffic. Then, he continues flooring the gas, even though he's going nowhere. Turn your car off! Turn the 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 car off. Police believe the driver meant to speed off in a hurry, but mistakenly put his car in reverse. Now that's the wrong way to get out of a speeding ticket. A group of thrill-seeking off-roaders take on some serious terrain in Ocala, Florida. Oh, he's going all the way! There he goes! Hey, that was a four-cylinder, man. You can make that. But that's before they try to drive down this rocky slope. <laughs> My son was in the Jeep with me that day. This was the first time that I had brought him four-wheel driving with me at this level. Scared, Tyler? Nah. I wasn't scared. I had confidence that we could do it. And it didn't look that steep from the top of the hill. All right, there we go. Man, I need to be down there. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. Oh. 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 No, no, no. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. There was a really big pit. And me tapping on the brakes all at the same time quickly turned it into hopping on two wheels. Oh, oh. No, 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 no! I felt like I was a piece of clothing being tumbled around in a dryer. I kind of just had to endure what was happening. It felt like forever. Wow. Are you all right, bud? I'm glad you're wearing your seatbelt, man. Your roll cage is still intact. Oh, that would have been real bad. Yeah, yeah that thing saved your life, man, that roll cage right there. Corey and Tyler both walk away with only minor scratches. You got some blood sticking down the right of you there. But the four-wheeler? That's another story. Yeah, that's going to take some work at the body shop, huh? Can't do anything with insurance for that. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In New Mexico, officers are on the trail of a suspected drunk driver. He flees police so fast, a passenger is thrown from the bed of his pickup. When the suspect can't outrun the police, what does he do next? The officer tries to back up, but he doesn't have much room because another patrol car is right behind him. It's this next hit where the driver really means business. Snow flies from the truck bed as the police vehicle's hood is crushed. With this policeman out of the chase, other officials apprehend the suspect. The brand new police SUV requires $8,000 in repairs. Who's going to pay for that? Uh, if he goes to the prison laundry and makes 25 cents an hour, we want that money till he pays that eight grand to uh, repay the county. Eight grand? That's a big hit. A series of smash-and-grab robberies plagued the Lake Charles area of Louisiana. On Christmas Eve, a thief sets his sights on this convenience store. After finding nothing of value in the cash register, the bandit goes to work on the safe. But when he can't crack it open with a crowbar, what's his next move? He and an accomplice steal a pickup truck and use it as a four-wheel wrecking machine.
The suspects smash into the store one, two, three, four, five different times in an attempt to bust open the safe. Unfortunately for them, even a two-ton truck is useless. Despite all their efforts, they leave the store in shambles, they leave the safe unopened, and they leave empty-handed. In McMinn County, Tennessee, a drunk driver dreams up his own take on the traditional smash and grab. His hard crime? Stealing a soft drink vending machine for the money inside. I got contact with it. Sheriffs are quickly on his tail. Showers of sparks fly as the soda machine swings wildly from the back of his truck. In an effort to shake police, the suspect turns down a side road. The machine breaks free and almost creates a spill. After a long chase, the officers box him in, and his plan to steal the soda machine falls flat. Load up, yo. A salesman has brought this brand new $50,000 car to a potential buyer's house. Oh my God. Woo! Look at the rims and everything, yo. Got short throw shifter and everything, yeah. <laughs> the buyer's son climbs behind the wheel to check out the radio. This car is nice. But when he turns the key, yeah, I like this car. Whoa. <laughs> With the transmission already in gear. It was in gear already. Yeah, that's what everybody does. You leave it in gear, so if the emergency brake fails, it's a natural thing. The damage to the garage includes a bicycle, some framing, and drywall. All right, we're worried about this coming down right here. And the brand new car? It needs $15,000 in repairs. Oh, my Everything God. Everything can be fixed. Everything can be fixed. The buyer, feeling guilty about what just happened, goes through with the purchase. This is one case of sticker shock that no one will soon forget. Joey, what are you doing? The neutral light was in first gear, and you tried to start it. This guy's getting his first lesson on how to ride a motorcycle. So remember, you can always pull the clutch in. Just stop. Are you okay? Let's see. Is this a nosebleed? Yeah. What caused him to hit the wall? So remember, you can always pull the clutch in. Just stop. Turns out that when this driver loses control, he doesn't come through in the clutch. A woman looks for the perfect parking spot at her local gym. But it's her luxury SUV that's about to get a workout. After crushing two parked cars, what does she do? Drive away like nothing happened. This driver should have more than her gym membership revoked. If one good turn deserves another, how about some bad turns trying to get out of a parking lot? While pulling out, this driver hits a sedan. That would stop most people, but not him. This car is seriously stuck. His solution to brake free? Just give it a little gas. Now he's finally ready to hit the road. Or another pole. After four fender benders in a tight space, it looks like this car has parked for good. Take a four-way intersection, add some drivers in a hurry, and... The motorcyclist and the fire truck hit the intersection at the same instant. Good thing he's wearing a helmet. He suffers only minor injuries from this major T-bone. 
there's an overpass in North Carolina that's earned the nickname Guillotine Bridge. Why? Because of this. Crashes occur so often that neighbors keep their camcorders running to capture the wreckage. Wow. This railroad trestle was built with a clearance of exactly 11 feet 8 inches. If a truck or delivery van happens to be taller than that, a massive steel beam was installed across the front of the overpass to protect the train tracks. But it doesn't do much to protect the trucks. Bad crash. Oh, he's going to have a bad day. So, if you're ever driving near Guillotine Bridge, be careful, or you just might find yourself cut off from traffic. Oh, he could have a bad day.